Uh, there are multiple ways that I can think of how web archives can contribute to research. Uh, for example, uh, the, uh, the notion of uh, being able to archive our scholarly artifacts, that is something that we're at Los Alamos in particular are working uh, on, uh, is, is I think crucially important to reproduce uh, research and to um, uh, safeguard our uh, research output. By uh, scholarly artifacts, I mean uh, the, uh, uh, the, the data sets that we're producing, the source code uh, that we're producing, the slide decks that we're producing, the, um, uh, uh, the annotations that we're producing, for example, the uh, um, uh, uh, online discussion that is ongoing. So all these uh, intellectual property pieces that we're producing throughout the process of our scholarship, of our research, uh, those are all artifacts that are not systematically archived right now. Uh, but it's, uh, it's crucially important, I think, to, uh, to keep those uh, artifacts um, uh, alive and uh, being able to, to access them down the road in the future because the infrastructure that we're currently using to share these pieces of information is not necessarily uh, in the business of, uh, of archiving um, those resources. They make them available, they make them accessible, uh, but who knows when the next business model uh, change is coming, who knows when the next uh, you know, funding stream dries out. So we're not um, uh, in a situation that we have guarantees that these sort of scholarly portals are available and accessible um, uh, for future use. So uh, in, uh, archiving infrastructure is desperately needed to take care of those, uh, those artifacts to ensure long-term access down the road. So this is all um, um, uh, research directions that I think are uh, n not currently in, the, in our focus where they actually should be. Yeah.